I want to talk to you about learning to be socially interactive and have conversations everywhere. Man, I see so many people just sticking to themselves these days. It doesn't matter where I go, what I do. It, people just don't really talk or say hi. I wonder if this has something to do with putting the mask on and the whole lockdown situation. I'm not seeing the social interaction that I used to. In fact, I went to the mall just recently. I had to go and get a new set of prescription glasses ordered, and it was empty. And, I, and the lady in there says, well, it's dead since the lockdowns. And I said, oh, okay. I mean, I used to be able to go in there and talk to anybody. I'd see somebody sitting down, and I could strike up a conversation. And the reason I bring this up, especially on my channel, is it's kind of an extension of some of the lectures that I've given that people just really struggle with rejection. And I've recommended some books on what you can do, you know, easy stuff. If you're not a reader, you can get audiobooks, how to win friends and influence people, an ages old technique on just being able to speak with somebody and start to get a rhythm on how to talk. My good friend Troy Francis, he teaches dating skills. And you know one of the biggest parts of it is learning how to converse and keep a person interested for a small amount of time and how to query somebody. When I say query somebody, it's the ability to get them to, you know, show an emotion or have a passion or become interested in something that you framed or couched for them so that they'll want to talk to you. Okay, Thor, but I get the nerves. I can't even just go up and talk to somebody. And if you're a guy and you can't talk to somebody unless you're playing Call of Duty and you can talk to them over the headset only, well, that's good enough. You can absolutely do that. If you're not, too, even people on the spectrum can create conversations. It's not that hard. You have to get past the mental hurdle. And I can tell you, I had this really great guy, and he was an IT guy, a little bit introverted, but super freaking smart. Uh, maybe he was on the spectrum, maybe he wasn't. I really don't know, but smart. But he got himself in a rut because in his business, he had literally stayed at home. He bought into the fear, and he stayed at home and worked from home for almost two years straight. Two years straight. And I talked to him through Zoom and part of consultations and open group meetings. And his big trouble was he really wanted to meet girls, and he wanted to learn how to date. Needless to say, he fit into the virgin territory. Um, he considered himself a virgin. Yes, he could pay for it, but he didn't want to do that. He wanted to have more of a connection. Man, that's really admirable. I totally get that. Uh, but being home, he also had all his groceries delivered. He used everything from his house. Everything was brought in and brought out. He got past his fear and realized that he'd overdone it. And now he had a lot of fear of getting out. So we put a plan together. He, he was so uncomfortable just getting out, we had to work on that a step at a time. We sent him to the gas station. We made him buy stuff and ask people what they liked the best out of, say, he brings several, I'm just gonna make this up, but it was several products. Let's just say they were different candies. He would ask, well, which one is your favorite? I'm not sure what I want. Just to get a conversation started. Don't do it when there's a crowd of people, but pick your time and then ask somebody to, people like to help each other and this is something simple he got past that now we had to get him further into it so we sent him to a mall essentially where people drink coffee and things like that and his goal was to talk to two people it didn't matter whether it was a man or a woman preferably a man and a woman okay and so I'm just gonna tell you what I instructed him on and I had other guys in the group that immediately tried this and I've used this for years because it's kind of, it's kind of fun. And it's, it's also a way to tell myself affirmations. And I kind of give you guys all the secret sauce here, which is fine. Uh, get lost in the sauce, so to speak, because it's very tasty. He didn't know what to say or how to open it up. Even hello. What do I say after hello? I said, great. I want you to do what RP Thor does. First of all, Make sure you are dressed and groomed very well. No dirty nails. Wear a little bit piece of jewelry that shows that you have some sort of identification with yourself and your appearance. 
you know, take a little bit of care there. Doesn't have to be fancy, biker style, I'll kill you type of, a, of jewelry. It could just be anything subtle, you know. Oh, by the way, he had an entry level date just wear that. Great. Anything. So it helps build confidence when you have appearance that's up. So we worked on that. And then it was real simple. After you say hello, you ask that person, how's it going? That's simple. Man, woman, hey, how are you doing today? That's a great entry right there. And some, almost 99% of the time, you know what they'll say? Whether they're working the counter or they're waiting in line. Oh, they're going to say one of two things. Oh, it's going well. Uh, thank you. How are you doing? Or they're going to say, oh, it could be going better. Or they're going to be like, ah, uh, how are you doing? Any of those responses opens the door for you. Because here's what I do. This is our three doors. Hey, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing, uh, I'm doing okay. Wish it was better. Really? I'm living the dream. Aren't you living the dream too? That's one approach. The other one is when they say, yeah, I'm doing great. And I say, ah, I see you're living the dream just like me. Or I'm living the dream when they ask me, hey, how are you doing? I'm living the dream just like you. When you can enter like that, you get a couple responses. It says, yep, I'm living the dream. That's fantastic, man. Or the other one is, I don't know what the dream is. It seems like a nightmare to me. You know? Interesting, because you have two options here and they end up in the same place. Um, you can sit there if they ask to answer you. Yep, I'm living the dream too. You say, oh, that's fantastic. You must know the secret to living the dream. Whatever their response is at this moment, you get insight into their passion. They're going to tell you what they think living the dream is. And you just said they must know the secret. You gave them some authority and some respect for something they know. I know it seems complicated, but it's not. It's really easy. And if they say they don't know the secret, I say, well, psh, what's your secret? Or if they say, I'm not doing so good, you say, well, that's because you don't know the secret to live in the dream. All right, Thor, how you doing? You know, oh, I'm doing great. Oh, so you're living the dream just like me. Oh, no, not so much, man. I said, well, that's because you don't know the secret to live in the dream then, right? Secret. They're going to tell me. What secret to live in the dream? I go, aha, do you want to know the secret? Either scenario can lead to this. And now I'm going to generate some mystery and surprise. I'm going to tell them. I'll tell you the secret, but I mean, don't laugh because it's that simple and you'll be living the dream too. And they're going to be like, okay, what is this guy doing? What kind of joke? And you're going to sit there and lean forward. You're going to tell them seriously with a smile. Well... The secret is to living the dream. Nightmares are dreams too, so we're always living the dream, right? 100, nearly 100% 100 of the time, everybody laughs. And says, yeah, no kidding. Nightmares are dreams too. And then I say, yes, and nightmares don't last. That's the secret to living the dream. I have now softened and opened the door to ask my next series of questions. So if you were living the dream, what passion drives you to live that dream? If they're an employee and they're working, say, is it working here? It seems like a good place. Boom. No, it would really be a fitness trainer doing this, 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 and this. I have a conversation going fantastic. If it's a gal and she tells me, oh, I wanted to be a fashion designer or this or that. That's what really drives me. I want to be a mom. Whatever it is. This is just an entry to continue the conversation with the goal in mind to have that person talk about themselves and something that they care about. And if they care about something, they share it with you, you can show some genuine interest because it will be interesting. And the key to it is, is when people talk about themselves and what they're passionate about, they associate that with you. And remember who the person they love the most is, is always going to be them. Even if they hate themselves, they still like themselves more than pretty much anybody else human nature. So the key to having these conversations is just being willing to do that. And if somebody says, hey, I'm busy, I, I got I, I can't talk right now, great. You just move to the next person. You know, 
Uh, Roosh wrote a book on uh, pickup. It was called Day Bang. But honestly, I didn't find that it was really about pickup. It was about something called old man game and the ability of old men with their experience and their savviness and social acuity to be able to talk to anybody about any subject, anytime. And that right there is the entry point that he used to talk to women worldwide. Is those skills, those conversational skills allow her plenty of plausible deniability. Whether she's in a relationship or not, you're not asking her out right away, you're just talking to her. And you learn something about her. And I can tell you this, having witnessed it myself, even if that woman is in a relationship, if it's not the best relationship in the world, she finds an interest in talking to you about her passion, doors open. She can't help it. She is subject to exactly the same forces that every woman would be uh, with her solipsistic nature and hypergamy driving her towards something better in mating opportunities, whether it's short term or long term. And just having that conversation will get you somewhat experienced and understanding, you know, how to develop a, I wouldn't say a friendship, but an acquaintance, a mutual beneficial acquaintance with uh, women and or men. You'd be surprised how many men that I've met that are high power. I met a state police chief once, didn't know he was. And that relationship is good enough that I can ask questions and it's beneficial to have people in the know. Uh, and it just starts from a conversation. And some of these will be fruitful and some of these won't. So conversations are important. If you're stuck watching YouTube and watching something like this, I hope this is valuable enough for you that you use the simple of tea technique of when you're out doing anything in any environment, asking people how they're doing. And when they respond in kind, you're going to say, I'm living the dream just like you and see what happens. I challenge you. I challenge all of you to do it and then follow the directions on the secret to living the dream. Do this one thing. doesn't matter how old you are. Try it. And then give me some comments down here and tell me what you think. Because I guarantee this will work miracles for your social life because it will teach you a lot about interacting. Will you step over the line at some point during the conversation and get creepy? Oh, hell yes. And you should. And they'll teach you where not to go with certain people when they're giving you indications in their conversation or body language. You have to do this. And it's okay. You need to make it fun. Uh, a lot of guys will get so much social anxiety because they've been isolated and they're not really taught these skills in school. Um, that just breaking through to have the conversation seems like an insurmountable task. And I can tell you, it's not. It's not an insurmountable task. Just go try this one thing. Oh, and my student, he got so good at it that he can converse anywhere now. And uh, I don't see him much in the, in, in the communities anymore because he did what most guys do when they learn these skills. He's out living his fucking life. And that's amazing. And that makes making these videos worth it right there. Salute to you and skull.